Now, President Biden has introduced the first image to be shown publicly from the James Webb Telescope, the largest and most powerful ever launched into space. In the boundless expanse of our universe where the mysteries of the cosmos unfold, there exists a celestial marvel that has captivated the imagination of stargazers and scientists alike, the enigmatic Proxima b. For centuries, astronomers have yearned to unlock the secrets of this distant exoplanet after years of meticulous preparation and an insatiable thirst for discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope has just delivered a revelation that will redefine our place in the universe. What secrets does this distant world hold? Is Proxima b a potential cradle for life, or does it harbor mysteries beyond our wildest imagination? Join us as we embark on a journey to the outer realms, where the James Webb Telescope has just announced the clearest image of Proxima b. Out there and far away in space lies this mysterious planet. It's not just some ordinary space rock, it's Earth's cousin, Proxima Centauri b. Just a short 4.2 light years from us, this planet hangs out in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. There's an air of mystery and wonder about it. Could it be like our own Earth, with oceans and life bustling on its surface? Proxima Centauri b isn't on a solo journey around its red dwarf star. It's got a buddy, a super-Earth named Proxima Centauri c. And who knows what other secrets this star system is hiding? There might be another companion lurking out there, waiting for us to discover it. But the mysteries don't end there. Proxima Centauri b gets a similar energy boost from its star as our Earth does from the Sun. These are planets dancing around stars that aren't our familiar sun. There are a mind-boggling 206 trillion stars scattered across the cosmos, opening up a universe of possibilities for these celestial wanderers. Some of these exoplanets are true cosmic nomads, unbound by the gravitational ties of any star. They roam freely in the vast expanse of space, similar to rogue travelers exploring the cosmic highways. Yet, amidst this celestial caravan, one planet steals the spotlight, Proxima Centauri b. This enigmatic world boasts a truly unique character. Imagine a year on Proxima Centauri b that lasts just 11.2 Earth days. But what sets it truly apart is its proximity to its host star. Nestled a mere 20 times closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun, Proxima Centauri b experiences extremes that defy our planetary norms. One side of the planet perpetually bathed in the brilliance of its star is a never-ending daylight extravaganza. On the flip side, perpetual darkness reigns, a cosmic midnight where the sun's warmth is, but a distant memory. This celestial dance unfolds around the mysterious host star, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the cosmic spectacle. Proxima Centauri b is a celestial body that dances around the red dwarf Proxima Centauri. It's like the starry ballet of the Alpha Centauri Triple Star System, a cosmic trio that includes Rigel Centaurus, Centauri B, and the Spotlight Stealer, Proxima Centauri. This trio creates the cosmic equivalent of a neighboring star system, waltzing closest to our very own solar system. Among the celestial performers, Rigel Centaurus and Centauri B form a stellar duo known as Alpha Centauri A and B. These stars, both G and K types, join forces to masquerade as one bright entity in the Centaurus constellation, ranking as the third brightest stars in our night sky, with a striking peak amplitude of minus 0.27. Shifting our cosmic lens to Proxima Centauri, also known as Alpha Centauri c, we encounter a red dwarf, an M-type star. Positioned at a mesmerizing distance of 0.21 light-years from its stellar companions, this is approximately 13,000 times the vast expanse between Earth and the Sun. Proxima Centauri technically claims the title of our nearest star. Translated from Latin, Proxima Centauri means the nearest star of Centaurus, and its celestial debut was orchestrated in 1915 by the sharp-eyed Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Eddington. This star, a red dwarf, is like the energy-efficient superstar of the cosmos. It doesn't produce a massive energy show, but its internal convection process keeps it shining for trillions of years. Proxima Centauri will stay in its main sequence star phase for another 4 trillion years. Is Proxima Centauri a cosmic home or not? Being a red dwarf, it's a bit of a show-off with frequent and unpredictable flares. Plus, as a lightweight star, its habitable zone is closer compared to our Sun, estimated between 0.023 and 0.054 astronomical units. 
is not as cozy for potential inhabitants as it might seem. Proxima b may seem like an earthly neighbor hanging out at a similar distance from its star, but appearances can be deceiving. This planet faces a cosmic assault, getting hit by extreme ultraviolet radiation from its sun that puts our sunlight to shame. We're talking about radiation hundreds of times stronger, obliterating even the lightest hydrogen molecules, let alone nitrogen and oxygen. Proxima b might lack the essential party essentials, a suitable atmosphere. You know, the kind that keeps things cool, regulates the climate, and supports a water-friendly surface. Without this atmospheric VIP pass, living organisms would be sitting ducks for space weather's wild antics, making the idea of life on Proxima b a bit of a stretch. From a distance, it might look like Earth's doppelganger, but when you zoom in, Proxima b's got a cosmic makeover that says, life? Not so fast. Many people are skeptical about Proxima b's livability, and there are quite a few reasons why. But the quest for the truth about this distant neighbor keeps going, and some optimists are holding on to hope. One cool tool that's turned heads in the astronomical world is the James Webb Telescope. After facing several delays, it finally took off in 2018, it's on a mission to help us figure out if there's any life hanging out on Proxima b. The James Webb Telescope had to undergo a bunch of tweaks to make sure it captured the most accurate images. Avi Loeb, a brainy physicist from Harvard, breaks it down. If a planet like Proxima b can soak in light from its star, it's also likely to give back by emitting infrared light. The James Webb Telescope with a special knack for spying on infrared light. Imagine it as a space shutterbug snapping shots of this invisible light dancing on planet's surfaces. Eddie Turner, the astro sleuth from Princeton University, raises a cosmic eyebrow. He's like, having an atmosphere doesn't mean life's in the house. Take Proxima b, for example. It could be the Venus of the cosmic block. A thick atmosphere, 90 times heavier than Earth's, and temperatures hotter than a supernova. The quest to crack the Proxima b code is no walk in the cosmic park. The James Webb Telescope is our interstellar Sherlock, but there's a twist in the plot. Costs are soaring, and astronomers are feeling the space budget squeeze. Astronomers are eager for this adventure, considering a journey to Proxima b. Could we really venture there? What adds spice to the thrill is that Proxima b is like our cosmic neighbor, right next door in the vastness of space. Proxima b's close proximity amps up the excitement, making it a prime suspect in our quest for life beyond our blue planet. Embarking on the journey to Proxima Centauri is no walk in the park. Currently, it would take a whopping 75,000 years for a spacecraft like Voyager 2 to make its way to the Proxima Centauri system. Sounds like a sci-fi eternity, right? But hold on, there's a nifty idea on the table. Solar sails. Imagine these sails, thin as a whisper, propelling a spacecraft toward the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima b, hitching a ride on sunlight itself. It's like steering without a steering wheel, using solar pressure to stay on course. Forget about the fuel dilemma. This spacecraft would be surfing the sunbeams. They predict this solar sail-powered vessel could cruise at speeds 10 to 20 times faster than the speed of light. Zooming through space at such a pace could shrink the journey to the Alpha Centauri system to a mere 20 years. The Proxima b discovery has injected a serious dose of excitement into the world of space exploration. It's like a cosmic beacon, reigniting our curiosity and giving us a fresh burst of hope. Suddenly, the notion of being alone in this vast universe doesn't seem as certain anymore. The James Webb Telescope is not just any telescope. It's a real marvel that can transport us back a whopping 13,700,000,000 years to the universe's very beginnings. The farther away something is, the longer it takes for its light to reach us. James Webb takes advantage of this by peeking at objects in the universe that no other telescope has ever seen. It can do it in longer wavelengths of infrared light, revealing even more distant stars with crystal clear clarity. This incredible gadget isn't just for show. It has the potential to uncover the mysteries of life on other planets, like our cosmic neighbor Proxima b. However, as fantastic as it is, there are some limitations to its powers. For instance, just because a planet has an atmosphere doesn't mean it's teeming with life. Proxima b might be more like Venus, with a thick, scorching atmosphere that's a no-go for life. The James Webb Telescope can detect this, even if it's just 5% as bright as the natural day. Talk about a high-tech cosmic detective. 
Dealing with a star that's so dim, it's like trying to spot a firefly in a blackout. Just 5% more light might not sound like a big leap, but when we're talking about a star 20,000 times fainter than our sun, it's like turning up the brightness on a cosmic dimmer switch. What if Proxima b, the planet in question, is not just sitting there in the dark, but has a civilization getting creative with their lighting? Aliens on Proxima b, thinking they might be cosmic engineers using gigantic mirrors, strategically positioned to bounce sunlight from the day side of the planet to the night side. It's like they've got a celestial lighting system on the planetary scale. There are more exoplanets out there than grains of sand on a beach. These planets are like a galactic treasure hunt, each one unique, with some being colossal gas giants, basically the heavyweight champions of the exoplanet world. We're talking about planets similar to Jupiter and Saturn but on steroids. Jupiter flexes its muscles and then pictures a planet that makes Jupiter look like a tiny pebble. These guys are the giants among giants, making our Jupiter look like a mini version. It's like comparing a towering skyscraper to a quaint cottage. The universe is full of these colossal wonders and we're just scratching the surface of the cosmic spectacle. Hot Jupiters are like the daredevils of the exoplanet world, whirling around their stars so close we'd think they're playing with fire. Scorching temperatures that could turn metal into goo. Witnessing raging storms and blistering heat on these sizzling orbs. Then there's the Neptunian gang, rockin' sizes similar to Uranus and Neptune. Hot Neptunes and mini Neptunes, the cool kids in the group, cozy up even closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. Their atmospheres are like cosmic detective secrets, tough to crack from a distance. And who could forget the Earth-like gang? Terrestrial exoplanets are the cool cousins that resemble our home sweet Earth. They come in all shapes and sizes, from tiny tots to giants. Ever heard of Super Earths? They're like the heavyweight champions, more massive than us but not quite as heavy as Neptune. The exoplanet party never stops. One of the coolest exoplanets out there is Proxima Centauri b. It's like a super-Earth, seven times heavier than our home turf. But get this, it's not riding solo. Nope, it's got a partner in crime, Proxima Centauri c. Proxima c takes a leisurely 5.5 Earth years to complete a lap around its star. We spotted it back in 2020 thanks to some Hubble telescope magic. Proxima c is shining bright like a cosmic disco ball. Why? Well, it might be rocking a ring system, making it glow in the dark. Back in 2019, scientists caught a star acting a bit shady. It seemed like it might have a secret planetary pal, judging by the way it wiggled. If they're right, this newfound buddy could go by the name Proxima Center ID, a planet hanging out in the cosmos, about the size of Mercury or Mars. Gazing up at the night sky, not just seeing stars, but a whole bunch of planets showing off their unique styles, each twirling around in its own way. The universe really knows how to throw a surprise party, and exoplanets are just one of its many tricks. Astronomers are on the lookout, finding new cosmic gems all the time. Spotting these distant planets isn't as easy as pointing a finger, though. These planets like to play hide-and-seek, hiding behind the dazzling glow of their star hosts. But guess what? Thanks to super cool technology, we can now capture some of these elusive exoplanets in action, posing for the cosmic paparazzi with the world's most colossal telescopes. Space, you've never looked so good. An exoplanet needs to be big enough for our telescopes to spot it, not too close to its host star so that the star's brightness doesn't ruin the view, and it should be on the younger side, all hot and shiny when seen from Earth. These criteria make it a bit of a challenge to find exoplanets directly. But when we do, it's like getting a sneak peek into these distant worlds. Most of the time, we catch exoplanets red-handed by observing changes they make in their host stars. Picture this. An exoplanet's gravitational pull can make its star do a little dance, a wobble that astronomers can spot as changes in the star's velocity. It's like stellar detective work. The Kepler telescope took a different route using the transit method. Imagine an exoplanet doing a cosmic photobomb, passing in front of its star and making it look a bit dimmer. Thanks to this trick, we've gathered a ton of cool facts about exoplanets. Like their size, how far they are, and how hot or cold they like it. More than one-fifth of stars similar to our sun have planets about the size of Earth hanging out in their cozy, habitable zones. TRAPPIST-1 is the proud owner of seven rocky exoplanets, all with a touch of water on their surfaces. 
Just like our solar system gang, exoplanets can also have their own entourage in the form of natural satellites, or as we call them, exomoons. It's like the universe's way of saying, we've stumbled upon more than 4,000 exoplanets. It's like they're everywhere, hanging out across the universe. The hot Jupiters, spinning giants that practically wave hello because they're easy to spot. But here's the kicker, there's a ton more out there, just waiting for their moment in the spotlight. NASA's James Webb Telescope is basically the universe's gossip hub, spilling secrets left and right. With each peek through its lens, it's dishing out mind-blowing revelations and snazzy snapshots of the great cosmic catwalk. The telescope recently pulled off a headline-worthy stunt that's rewriting our cosmic rulebook. The James Webb Space Telescope, our cosmic paparazzi, caught the universe's first-ever selfie of a planet sipping on carbon dioxide outside our home turf. This find spills the interstellar tea on what that planet's made of and how it's been strutting through the cosmic runway. This gas giant, a real diva, twirls around a star that's like our own, but it's 700 light years away. That's one giant leap for our quest to find ET vibes. NASA head honcho Bill Nelson is hyping up a groundbreaking discovery that's set to blow our cosmic minds. The James Webb Space Telescope, not just chilling out, has been snapping pics and gathering cosmic gossip Brace yourself for star-studded images, galaxies doing the celestial tango, and dust clouds having a dust-up, all seriously jaw-dropping stuff. The revelations just keep on rolling in. A bunch of brainy astronomers from all corners of the globe teamed up to play space detectives with the telescope. Their mission? To make a cosmic shopping list of the iciest, chilliest molecular clouds in town. They hit the jackpot, finding frozen versions of fancy molecules like carbonyl sulfide, ammonia, and methane. But that's not all. The freezer also had simple and swanky organic molecules like methanol and basic ices like water. It's like a frozen treat for science nerds. This info dump isn't just for show. It's a goldmine of intel about how the next generation of planets and stars is going to pop into existence. And if you thought the telescope was just about fancy words, think again. One of its snapshots, taken with its near-infrared camera, gives us a peek at the chameleon of space, a dark molecular cloud chilling 630 light-years away. In this infrared magic show, a young, flashy protostar called CED-110 IRS-4 is throwing light on the chilly, wispy cloud. They're like distant stars photobombing the picture, their light getting absorbed by the ice in the cloud. This awesome study was part of Webb's Ice Age project, where they dove into the cool details of ice, from when it first shows up to the birth of icy comets. The James Webb Space Telescope also played copycat with a dusty disk hanging around a red dwarf star nearby. It snapped a pic of it for the first time using fancy infrared light. This find spills the beans on how planetary systems come to life. With every new thing the James Webb Space Telescope digs up, it spills more universe secrets. There's a whole bunch more waiting to be uncovered. The cosmos is like a giant puzzle, and we're just getting started. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.